here in the Niner locker room with George Odom, who's uh, leading the NFL in special teams tackles. And George, first year with the Niners, they made an investment in special teams. It's paying off, man. How's, how, how do you how do you feel like the year's gone for you so far? I've been going pretty good. Uh, at first, I wasn't getting many tackles. Uh, the tight ends were getting all the tackles at the first, first beginning of the season. But now I feel great. Like I'm going to attack people. I'm just dominating people out there. I got swole. I, I gained some weight. I gained a lot of strength. So, shoot, I'm just – Take care of my job. Yeah, what's your mindset before? Because you're like a you're like a magnet to the football right now on coverage units. So the crazy thing about it, if y'all watch anime and anything like that, uh, yeah, I was thinking this, the first beginning, I was like, dang, I feel like I'm level one right now. I need to just like level up some more, like boom. So you know, I used to write the, the little X's on my face and stuff like that, like all right, because I'm just like cutting everything out. Then I, then I put the stripe over like Naruto or something like that, just like <laughs> leveling up, and then I just really just created this thing in my mind where it's like when I put on my helmet, it's like I'm in a game and I'm finna go go get it. Right, so right. Nothing gonna stop me, so I'm finna go get it. That's how I put my mindset every time I put on my helmet and go out there. I be a little nervous before the game. Take my take my little breathing routine. Lay down, cover my eyes, completely black. Calm, breathe. And once I wake up, I'm a new beast. What's that moment like right before you guys take the field? And and everybody's sitting there. You guys got this boom box right here, sitting here. And some, right for the stage. Yeah, and, and guys are carrying it, and people are dancing, and guys are talking. And tell us about that moment right before you guys take the field. That's like, uh, I want to say something that's out of the ordinary, but it's just like a group of guys coming together to join a mission. You got to have a little fun and before you take the field. You got to build a bond together. You know what I'm saying? Just there you go. Crazy. There you go. Um, what would it mean to be, win the Super Bowl with this group? How do you, and what do you think of your chances? My, our chances? Yeah. We're going to do our job. Yeah. And that's going to that's gonna speak for us. Awesome. So. How do you feel about what would that mean to you to get that to wear to have that Super Bowl ring to have be crown champion? What would that mean to you? What would that mean to me personally? Yeah. You know, I haven't thought about that. I, I don't think about the future right now. I'm thinking about who we got to play now. Yeah. To, or in order to get that, and when I when it comes, it comes. I'm gonna cherish the moment. Where you now? We talked before. You're a Central Arkansas guy. Yeah. You're from Memphis. Uh, tell tell us a little bit about yourself growing up. You were always a football player. You play other sports. Uh, as far as growing up, wise, I played. I did wrestling. I ran track. I think I still hold uh, a few records at my school for the 100, 200. Uh, I did triple jump. I went to state in triple jump. I won. I think like I forgot like six triple jump something like that. Uh, other than that. Went to football. college, like, kind of growing up in the hood a little later on, early in the future. Well, not future, but early on my life. life. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, kind of, like, moved, moved around a little bit. Then at the high school, went to college, and right from there. Yeah. Who, was, who helped you get here? <clears throat> who would you, if you, if you were, if this were, like, an Academy Award and you're on the stage of, Thanking everybody, who who would you thank for the fact that you're 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 an NFL special team star at this point? Honestly, I couldn't I, I couldn't really just pinpoint who I could really say thanks to. Yeah, because like they always say, it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah, so I can really just thank all my whole family. You know, starting with my mama, starting with my dad, starting with my auntie, both aunties, starting with, like my best friend dad, like Charles Malone. Like, they were great people to me. Like, anytime I needed something, they was always there for me. Like, all my family and all my friends. Like, I really can't appreciate these people enough because if it, without, if it wasn't for a single one of them, I probably wouldn't be here right now. When did you first put on the helmet? When did you first, what age were you when you first started playing football? Uh, play as a little kid or you play high school to I start? I when I was a little kid. I played for the Grandview Raiders. When I okay. Was what, you, what was I your was position? I was... I was a safety and I was a quarterback. Oh, you're the quarterback? Yes, sir. Nice, nice. Yeah, we was, uh, me and the dude named G Money was out there killing him. Okay. And when did you think, I can play pro? When did, when did the pro I dream, never, what age were you when you said, I can play maybe pro? So I never thought about just playing pro. Like, when I was in high school, I was in JRCC. And so I was just thinking about going to the Army. I was living with my aunt at the time. Uh, 
my uncle is a retired master chief from the Navy, so like that's kind of influence on me. He was a hard, the hardest working guy I know. Really? So thought I was gonna do that, and then I just went to college to play football. So I was like, all right, boom! I almost felt that my first semester in, in 2013. It was crazy. I had uh, two C's, and, like writing in English, and uh, during the summer you don't take two classes. So I was on academic probation. Then they got most improved the semester after. So I was like, I, I was like, all right, my sweat gone. I, I think I can do this now. So I just started chopping wood all four years. And then I got different player of the year at the end of my last year. Just, Niner somewhere. signed you this year as a free agent. Great signing by, by John Lynch. Um, top what, 10. I mean, seriously. All what, time. You, I mean, yeah, seriously. But what did you think of, uh, why'd you come here? I mean, did, you had choices. You could have gone a number of places. Why here? Uh, you know, <laughs> not really just thinking too much into football-wise. Yeah. Just thinking like, all right, like the, the coach did not offer me that year, well, past year. And I was like, all right, well, a few other teams did offer me, but it wasn't the same, like, kind of, Money. Money wise. Yeah. So I was like, all right. And then I was like, all right, you're gonna be expensive to live out there. But they got a winning culture and stuff like that. So I came came over here, talked to everybody, like, all right, yeah, this it's working out, man. It's working yeah. out. And now I, you are locker mates with Debo. Tell us a little bit about Debo. What's uh, what's it like being locker mates with Debo? Uh I mean, definitely me to come over here more <laughs> a little bit, you know. A lot of people, it's, a tra it's like a magnet right here for more people to come. Right, right, right. Everybody look up to him, so yeah. he's a great guy. Can't say anything really too much about him. Who, if you were a fan, who on this team would you pay money to watch? Who do you like watching on the team? Because, you're, you're, you know, you do your thing on special the teams, you get, to, you get a pretty good seat. If not, nobody that you would think. First person that stood out to me is Jordan Willis. Really? Oh my God, I seen him fast. Preseason. Just 270 just, and fast. Boom, knock a dude off and throw him out there. Oh my God. <laughs> Beast. Monster. Yeah. The silent assassin. Right. Quiet silent guy. Silent assassin. He going to get you. Yeah. You don't even know it, but he going to get you. Yeah. That's the first person that really stood out to me. Then, you know, Bosa, you know what I'm saying? He's a different monster on that head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, how about receiver wise? Like, you got, some, you got Brandon, you got Debo. Um, you, in camp, covering these guys, playing zone, you know, getting getting some reps in preseason against some of your guys in practice. Who of your weapons here? Who stands out to you in practice? Well, I can't really say who stands out in practice too much because at the end of the day, like it is practice. Sure, we're not really hitting each other like that. We're yeah, not, but the person that's snatching the ball. Yeah, who impresses you now or during camp? Maybe it, same. Oh, give me, give me one in camp, one now. Cause there's a lot of people that's been been impressing me a lot. Yeah, go ahead. And really, I you right here been going crazy, like snatching the ball, like tiptoeing balls in practice, like crazy. Yeah, his awareness is like out the chart, and his like frame of catching is his radius is crazy. Yes. Yeah, how about Juwan, man? Juwan's got a huge oh, yeah. radius. When I, before I came here, I, my brother was talking about him. He was like JJ. Oh, man, he, he went crazy in the playoffs. That's how we know about him. Seriously, he went did go crazy, crazy in the, in the playoffs. playoffs. He had multiple touchdowns. I was like, okay, this man. Start calling him work. big money. And he's from Memphis. Yeah. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah. Okay, did you guys know each other as kids? No, sir. Oh, okay. No, I didn't know him. Uh, what do you think of Brock? Brock's rolling. Brock? Yeah. Oh, crazy. I love him. I remember, uh, I ain't talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Give me great some. Times. Good Good. Great guy. Yeah, so. great guy. And I'm a quiet leader, but, but guys follow Guys, follow him. Do you sense that? Yeah, like we have no doubt in our mind that we. The the thing about it about us and other teams, like other teams, sometimes have doubt, and that trickles in and leads to losing. We have no doubt in our mind that we're gonna win. I have no doubt in my mind that anybody can block me on kickoff, and that's how my mind thinks, and so that other people's mind start thinking like that too, and so we just progress. We don't decel. We rise up to the occasion. All right, couple last one. Yeah. All right, last one for you, last one for you. Um, obviously, you guys are rolling, playing great football. Give me give me something. You're, this is year one in the Bay. Give me something around the Bay that you've enjoyed doing. You enjoy the Bay Area? You enjoying our weather? Just involve the story of Brock. What I enjoy doing. Yeah, what do you enjoy about, about living in Northern California right now? I just like coming to work here. Literally, I just like coming to work, <clears throat> grinding every day. 
George, right. keep it rolling, man. Good to see you. Thanks for your time.